Hi everybody, look what I've got here. It smells like a Risk v spirit. Risk v is an open instruction set. It is trying to replace ARM in microcontrollers and microprocessors. Risk v is slowly but firmly making its way in the industry, especially in Internet of Things. Espressif, the leading manufacturer of microcontrollers for Internet of Things, switched to Risk v and recently released several microcontrollers with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities using RISC V, such as ESP32C3 and ESP32C6. They also launched ESP32P4. However, Espressif is not the only player using RISC V for Internet of Things. Here is an alternative. This gadget here includes AI Thinker M6132S, module which features Buffalo Labs BL618 RISC-V microcontroller and it's possible to use it with Arduino or kind of. I managed to build a simple sketch and upload it on this device. Let me show you how this works. The AI Thinker AIM6132S kit features several built-in LEDs. I decided to create a simple Arduino sketch to make them blink. Uh, so one of the LEDs that I'm using is with a cold light and the other one is the blue light from the RGB LED. The technical specifications of the AI Thinker AI M6132S module, which is part of the development board that I've just showed you, are impressive. It features a Buffalo Lab BL618 32-bit RISC-V microcontroller capable of running at up to 320 megahertz. There is a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth, um, uh, low energy 5.3 and thread support. Let's try it out and create firmware for it. The first step is to configure Arduino IDE because I want to cross compile firmware for Buffalo Labs BL618 RISC-V microcontroller using a laptop with an Intel CPU. I'm personally an open source enthusiast and a Linux user, so I have Ubuntu 2404 on this computer, but uh, Arduino IDE also runs on Mac OS and Windows, so you can do the same on these operating systems. I have already installed Arduino IDE on my computer and I expect you to have done the same if you're planning to follow the steps from my video. You need Arduino version 2 or higher. After opening Arduino IDE, go to File, Preferences, Additional Board Manager URLs and enter the following URL and you can get it from the description of the video. This is the URL for the Arduino core for Buffalo Lab chips, which is an open source project shared on GitHub. From the search bar, find the Buffalo Labs Arduino core. You can type BL680 to locate it. Install it. As of the moment when I'm recording this video, the latest version is 1.0.5. Maybe by the time when you're watching the video, there will be a new version. The installation will take a while because it will download the whole toolchain that allows you to cross compile firmware on your computer for the RISC-V uh, BL680 chip inside the AI Thinker module. The cross compilation is super important because the computer on which I'm running the Arduino IDE is with an Intel CPU and it has a completely different architecture from the RISC-V BL618 microcontroller inside the AI Thinker module. To make things easier, I have already uploaded the simple Arduino sketch that I created in GitHub. A link to it is available again in the description of the video. So you have to clone it from GitHub and after that to load the sketch in Arduino IDE. If you have used Arduino IDE before, you know the drill. In the left upper corner, there is an icon that looks like a check mark. You have to press it to cross compile the Arduino sketch into a binary that can run on the risk 5BL618 microcontroller. The third step is to upload the cross-compiled firmware from Arduino IDE to the development board with AI Thinker M6132 uh, s that features the Buffalo Lab BL618 RISC-V microcontroller. 
To complete this action, I need a USB-C cable, which I'm going to use to connect my computer with the development board. Immediately after hitting the upload button, which is also in the left upper corner of Arduino IDE, I first need to press the burn button on the development board and after that to quickly press the reset button. This sequence with the buttons is super important to properly upload the firmware. In the output of the Arduino IDE, you can observe the progress of the flashing of the firmware. If there is an error, check the error message and repeat the steps again. After the flashing of the firmware completes, I had to press again the reset button. Basically, this resets the development board and it starts executing the firmware that I've just uploaded. And as you can see in the video, the LEDs are blinking. This very simple Arduino sketch does two things. Obviously, it makes the LEDs blink, but the second thing that it does is to print some text in the serial output. So in Arduino IDE, using the serial monitor, you can observe this text. At the very beginning of the setup function in my Arduino sketch, I have set the bolt rate for the serial communication to 9600. As you have seen, the tricky part with the flashing of the firmware to the development board is the sequence of pressing the two buttons on it. There is a burn button and a reset button and they are located on the two sides of the USB-C connector on the AI Thinker development board. With the magic of video editing, let me show you the flashing procedure from a different angle so that we can focus on the development boards and these two buttons. So first connect the development board to the computer with this USB-C cable. Immediately after hitting the upload button in Arduino IDE, press the burn button on the development board and right after that, the reset button. After the upload completes, press the reset button again so that you can launch the firmware and um, considering that we uploaded this very simple Arduino sketch that makes these LEDs blink, we can see how they're actually blinking. The major and most important disadvantage for Buffalo Labs BL618 RISC-V microcontrollers with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is the lack of proper software support. Yes, we have a port of the Arduino environment for them, there is another SDK, but in general, the ecosystem is not mature enough. And this is a huge showstopper for both the industry and the community. Here is an example of the problems that I'm having with the Arduino IDE and the port for Arduino on BL618. The source code of the Arduino core for Buffalo Lab chips is hosted in a Git repository in GitHub. Basically, at the beginning of the video, we've installed the compiled version of this source code through Arduino IDE board manager. The file wiring underscore digital C is particularly interesting. It defines three different arrays for the different GPIO pins. One of the arrays is for the digital pins, another array is for uh, the digital to analog convert converters, the two pins that are used for this purpose, and the third array is for the analog to digital converters, for the analog pins. As a result of this software implementation, it is not possible to use a pin that is capable of doing analog to digital conversion as a simple digital pin. And as a result, if you try to do this, you get an error message uh, that says this pin is not used as a digital pin. This is a pure software limitation and it's quite annoying, especially on the AI Thinker AIM6132S development board kit, we have uh, several pins wired to the LADs, which are also capable of doing to an analog to digital conversion. As a result, we want to use them as digital pins, not as an analog pins. For example, if we have a closer look at the schematics of the development board, the RGB LED uses three GPIO pins and in order to control them digitally we need these three pins to be digital pins in the Arduino environment. I reported this as a GitHub issue. There is no easy way to reconfigure them unless you uh, modify the source code of the Arduino core for Buffalo Lab chips. So technically it's possible to do it but it's quite annoying. That's why I'm telling you that the uh, ecosystem as of the moment is not mature and it's not as convenient as uh, for example the Arduino core for ESP boards. 
As you have seen in this video, it is possible to cross-compile and flash Arduino sketches through Arduino IDE to devices using Buffalo Labs BL618 RISC-V microcontroller with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. However, as I explained to you, there are some showstoppers. So think twice if you want to use this for a serious project as of the moment. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hit the like button. Stay tuned for new videos. See you soon.